brother, we're boots on the ground here. We're moving on to Capitol now. I'll give you a boots on the ground update here in a few. Multiple Capitol injuries! Multiple Capitol injuries! A new explosive report names members of Congress as planners of the violent insurrection. And all I can say is there will be lawyers. Welcome to TYT Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. According to a Rolling Stone exclusive, two people have confirmed to the House committee investigating January 6th attack on Congress that multiple members of Congress were intimately involved in planning both Trump's efforts to overturn his election laws and the January 6th events that turned violent. I'd say you'd not believe these names, but then again, I'll tell you the names and you probably will believe it. These sources identify the following Congress people and or their staff as being involved in planning the meetings for the insurrection. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, Mo Brooks, Madison Cawthorn, Andy Biggs, Louis Gohmert, and Paul Goser. In addition, Trump White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows has also been named in being a party planner for the coup. The two sources, who have been both granted anonymity by Rolling Stone due to the ongoing investigation, said that they participated in dozens of planning briefings with the members of Congress and or their teams. Now, these sources also provided Rolling Stone with documents corroborating their correspondence with the members of Congress. Now, bear in mind that these lawmakers weren't just flirting with planning the insurrection, but they were heavily involved, according to the sources. One of them said... I remember Marjorie Taylor Greene specifically. I remember talking to probably close to a dozen other members at one point or another or their staffs. We would talk to Boebert's team, Cawthorn's team, Gosar's team, like back to back to back to back. Speaking of Gosar, the Arizona Republican who has passionately advocated on behalf of the January 6th rioters, well, he reportedly took this audacious step during these planning meetings. Both sources say Gosar dangled the possibility of a blanket pardon in an unrelated ongoing investigation to encourage them to plan the protests. Let's talk law. You can expect that Green, Gosar, and the rest of the brigade will be lawyered up right now with criminal counsel. If the report is true, the U.S. attorney for D.C. could charge them along with the other insurrectionists, although the Congress members likely would face conspiracy charges. For orchestrating the attempted coup. Now, conspiracy to commit a crime typically carries the exact same penalty as the crime itself. And such a conviction would be more than sufficient grounds to not only kick them out of Congress, but also slap them in handcuffs. Whether our legislature would step up and actually vote them out is questionable, given how Republicans have aligned against accountability when it comes to January 6th and the vote that's required in order to kick someone out. But whether they'd be charged with a crime is a decision exclusively within the hands of the U.S. attorney, i.e. the executive branch. So how say you? If Rolling Stone's report is correct, will the U.S. attorney charge the Congress people implicated in planning the insurrection? And if so, will Congress kick them out? You let me know your thoughts below. Hit the like and follow button. And thanks for watching.